Hello everyone and welcome. Let's make this super cute Christmas card that if you change shape or size, you can make it as a place marker or uh, a little tuck for your journal or you can make a doodle in your journal, whatever you want to do. It's super easy. It's very uh, beginner friendly. So all you want to do is a bunch of, of rectangular shapes or square shape change the size a lot that, that's what's going to make the difference and every time that you make one rectangular just go around again a second time that's going to give you a, some sort of like scribbling effect that we're looking for all this doodle it's really like doodly it, it it's meant to be like cartoony not realistic so the more you go with your pen in a very loose way the better it's going to come out uh, a quick tip if you hold your pen from the very top instead of closer to the tip it's going to be even looser than uh, than what you want to to be so it's going to be like uh, easier for you to create this scribbling effect because a lot of time uh, we have the tendency at least i do the tendency to control more if you hold the, your pen closer to the tip that's why if you think about it when you hold a brush you just go like you hold it from the top like further away from the actual tip of the brush uh, because with brush you, you give like more of a loose effect anyway <laughs> um i'm going on a tangent anyway you just grab some uh, watercolors you can use markers you can use uh, pastel pencils whatever you want to use i have a uh, watercolor i'm obsessed with that uh, so i'm going to use this these are my roman small um palette so just so you know I'm going to put well, all I can in the, in the description box for you. If you have questions, please put it in the comments and I'm, I'm going to try to answer as soon as possible. What I'm doing now is like you pick you pick a few colors, the, the brightest, the, the subtle, the one that you like the most, and you just color all the squares that you've done. And then what I'm doing here, I'm sort of glazing. So just uh, doing some sort of darker shade um, of the, the same color around uh, uh, on the on the packages, let's say that are supposed to be behind uh, other packages. So to create some sort of a, a 3D, more, more a dimensional effect, even though, as I said, this is very much 2D cartoony, um, but um, I think that creates let's say more interest it gives more interest to the illustration which is all we we need to do in this case um so if you're using watercolors you just go over close to the um, a package that is supposed to be on the on the top on the first line and then uh, uh, you go over you glaze around that to create this like darker effect now you want pastel pencils, or at least that's what I went for. Uh, sort of the same colors. If you have not exactly the same colors, totally fine. Just pick something that is close, darker probably, or lighter of the color that you use for the packages. And then you go at bonkers with patterns. Just pick a pattern. It doesn't have to be fancy, a line, a strip. Uh, a little circle, whatever you like. I kept uh, the same col the, the patterns the same for the same color. So all the yellows have vertical lines. All the purple, um, well, what's that? That's not purple. That's like a magenta. <laughs> they, they all have like those circles and so on. But you can also change and have a pattern, each package with a different pattern. It doesn't matter. It re it's really up to you. For the background, I tried to go for like a soft number of a vintage um, effect. I don't know if I managed, but uh, I mixed up a magenta with a very um, light green, like a yellow green. And I got this sort of um, yellowish, brownish color. Um, I think I was going more for a peach and... Um, I got this one, which is fine. I'm happy with it. But just so you know, uh, I mixed up some colors. <laughs> uh, so you can do exactly the same if you don't have exactly that color. Just get grab a magenta and a gr green or a yellow and you're going to get close to that color. And now as final touch, I'm using this um, marker that is an acrylic marker or um, yeah, I think the acrylic marker will be helpful. Whatever you whatever marker you have that will color over uh the the packages like the watercolor and the, and the color pencil will work 
Uh, this is a golden one, which I, I thought it would be appropriate <laughs> because of the the packages, the Christmas uh, uh, mood that we want to go for. Um, so I made just little ribbons there. Nothing fancy. It's super easy. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you try it out. Let me know if you do. It would be super nice to chat about it. Uh, let, let me know if you have any questions about colors or markers or anything that I used. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.